here we are, the first day of Black History Month, talking about uh, the need to talk about black history. And it's a conversation that's changing in classrooms across America and here in central Illinois. The board that regulates how advanced courses are taught in high school is now no longer requiring certain subjects. And that decision isn't sitting well with some educators in central Illinois. WCI3's Jamal Williams is with us now. Jamal, seems like this topic is ongoing. Yeah, Jessica, at issue here are teachings about subjects like critical race theory, black feminism, and the Black Lives Matter movement. The College Board decided to, to downgrade some of those subjects, making them no longer required. But an educator I talked with today says that makes for an incomplete picture of American history. The issue of what your child should be learning in school is back in the news. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is one of the first to criticize courses covering black history, saying the courses lack what he calls educational value. We want education, not indoctrination. If you fall on the side of indoctrination, we're going to decline. If it's education, then we will do. Even here in central Illinois, the new laws in Florida have repercussions. When University of Illinois professor says black history is American history, and you can't remove the parts you don't like. It's difficult for me to think about uh, this, this experiment in the American project without talking about the ways in which black folk have contributed uh, to this project itself, right? So by erasing these authors who were critical, by the way, of the American experiment while also you know, holding their country accountable for what they said on paper. Some students say being taught lessons that aren't pleasant are a part of life. Being comfortable is not really the purpose of learning, especially being in college. It's not, you're not here to be comfortable, you're here to learn something. So um, learning something outside of your comfort zone is probably the most progressive thing you can do in terms of your own education. Many of the classes at the center of this debate will still be available as electives, but the material they cover won't be included on required exams to achieve college credit. Jamal, thank you.